Uh, I've just cut out a um, a patch panel for this firewall, and I'm about to just spot it in. I've got the, uh, the bottom piece there that'll that'll go in. So um, I'll uh, I'll have a go at this, and uh, I'll let you watch what I'm doing. Okay, that's a bit of that's a little look at what I've um, what I've done. Um, I have tacked that plate in uh, from the, the that bottom plate in from the outside just put a couple of tacks on it so um, I, once this heater box comes out I'll come inside and I'll weld it all in from the out from the inside um, then make it all nice so it's worked out well very happy Little, little bit of a gap there, didn't quite get the cut out right, so I'm just trying to just bridge that for now. I've uh, got to be careful too because I've got the um, bulkhead there and I've got the heater core behind it, it's only aluminium, so I've got to be thought aluminium. I've uh, got to be really careful what I'm doing, so just like a spot at the moment. One thing I've also found as well, um, and it may just be me because I'm not great at this, but I find that the magnets tend to have an effect on the welder. On the, when you get really close to a magnet, it, it doesn't seem to weld properly. Well, it might just be me, I don't know, but um, but yeah, it's uh, something that seems to frequently happen to me. <laughs> Um, maybe maybe there is something behind it, maybe there's not. I love this little light, it's great for when I'm rolling. Short 
little burst so I don't blow a hole in a hole in the edge of it. Exactly where I want it. Got a little bit of little bit of space around it, which is good. Um, you know, a little bit of up, a little bit of down movement. But once it's bolted in, it'll be okay. It just means that nothing's going to rub. So, you know, all good. Cheers. Uh, one other thing I did today was I went and got all the old um, vents, um, all the, the old ducting out of my Aladdin's cave. <laughs> out the back um, and was trying to work out what I was going to use to get the vents working. Um, I've ordered two nice little round chrome vents to go actually into the dashboard so what I'm going to do is go down the local hardware store and I'm going to buy some 90 degree 90 degree elbows. I'll chop this off in the appropriate place. I've left it as long as I could uh, for now, until I know where I'm going to put them, put some 90 degree um, elbows on there, probably some PVC fittings, and um, and they'll hook straight up to the vents. Uh, this one here, I'll use this outlet here for. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to block this in. I'm going to block this in. What I'm going to do is I've got these ones here, which in the Festiva. I'm not exactly sure where they came out. I think they might have had square vents in front of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap these. I'll take the, this tab off the end and this is this metal piece is actually a hard plastic piece which slots into this conduit. I'm actually going to drill a hole in there and I'm going, going to um, use um, epoxy and epoxy that in and then these I can't bend it and hold the camera at the same time, but you get, you get the idea. They'll go in through the pipe there, and these will sit just up there underneath the slot in the dashboard. Now, normally you would run your dash and or dash and windscreen. Dash and windscreen. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you'd run your dash off a, off, off the first one. And you would normally run your windscreen and your feet off this M1 here. But what I'm going to be doing is running the windscreen and the dash vents out of the same ducting. Uh, I do have ducting at the back there, which would be for the windscreens, but I don't necessarily need to use it. So what I did with some of the leftover ducting is I cut out these square bits of plastic and I'm going to actually seal that over. Just going to block it up. Put one there and one on that side and that'll become uh, a redundant vent. So dash and windscreen will come out of the same uh, piece of ducting and the floor obviously will still work the way it was designed to work so it'll still come down through this box come out the, the front and the back here at the bottom so that'll be all good um, so yeah uh, just a little bit of modification but it's also helping to reduce the amount of space that I'm going to take up under the dash because I still want to get that cowl vent back in I 
started to have a little bit of a look at it today, but I didn't I didn't really have a play with it. Um, I don't want to get distracted from what I'm doing on this. I don't want to have too many things going at once. And as I said, if for some reason I cannot get that uh, cowl vent to work again, I will just um, I'll just um, I'll put it back I'll put it back in, but I'll make it non-operational. Um, if I can but can't with a handle, I'll put a motor on it. And if I can't put a motor on it, well, it'll just be sealed shut. As simple as that. But yeah. Um, I, I, I might I might have a bit of a chance here, you know, with these becoming redundant, I can actually, if I needed to, I could actually cut this whole piece off here, if I need clearance for the cowl vent to go a bit lower, and that will give me, uh, just bear with me guys, I'm trying to find a, a ruler or a tape measure here, okay, set myself up another little bench here today, here some stuff I had. Oh, if I cut if I cut that off, I'm going to get another 25 mil. Um, and if anything interferes on that cowl vent, it'll be it'll be obviously this is upside down, but it'll be here, just in this corner here. I don't want to cut this because when when it comes up out of its opening, you know this is sort of these become your sides. It's and yeah, I don't want to make, I don't want to take anything out of that. So I'd rather take it out of, out of this vent if need be. Um, what I'll do is I'll get all my ducting, I'll get all my ducting set up first. Uh, my vents, my chrome vents are actually out of a Kenworth truck. They're brand new out of a Kenworth truck. Must have had surplus stock or something. It's out of the latest model Kenworth. They look really nice too. Really, really nice. Um, they should be here sometime middle of next week, if not end of the week. So once I've got those, um, the 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 hole I need to cut out 65 mil. That numbers come back to haunt me again, hasn't it? 65 mil. That's what we channeled the uh, what I channeled the, the body over the chassis by. Um, so yeah, the the actual hole 60 mil, and I think the bezel on the outside of the vent measures in at about 70 so it'll fit into it'll fit into the dash here beautifully now I don't know whether I'm going to put it there which I I guess would look alright let me turn this sideways I thought I won't know until I, I get them and I can stick them on now I could, I, you know I could mount them here on the side here that's not exactly right in front of my face um, because as you can see the, the centre of the steering columns here between these two lots of holes so this hole here actually becomes more central if I was to use that as the the outer left side and cut in around here that would actually be sitting centre of the panel and I'd sit that one centre of the panel too I think that'd look a lot better um, it'd even it out, you'd have equal space between the the instrument fascia to the bezel of the um, vent and you'd have the same distance from this this curve here to the left hand side of the bezel so I'm thinking that that I might be able to eliminate that hole after all um, by putting the vents in. So fingers crossed that that works. Um, so yeah, a little job for me tomorrow um, after I get some tyres fitted on the the missus's car. <laughs> uh, sort of missus partner, but yeah, get it, get some tyres on her car. Is to um, go down the local hardware store and look for some some 90 degree um, PVC bends that will fit the diameter of this pipe um, I'm not particularly worried if they're a little bit bigger because I can always use uh, ducting tape <laughs> to re you know just wrap that around it and just it'll be fine um, 
But yeah, jeez, uh, that wouldn't have, that ducting wouldn't have been something that I thought I would have pulled out of the donor car that I had years ago for, for a rebuild on another car, on, on another Festiva, but, um, yeah, as I said in early videos, you know, keep your scrap, keep everything, keep everything until the project's finished because you just never know what you're going to use. And even a part that I didn't use, with that part over there, I was able to cut those, those pads out to block the top of it up. Um, and still may need to actually um, cut a, a bigger piece out. If I do, if I do chop that that sort of flange off the top, it'll be a one piece section that goes goes in there, not two individual pieces. So, um, yeah, uh, keep scrap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep plugging away and try and get some more stuff done. Uh, and yeah. Cheers. Just a bit of a look at um, what I've already got in place. Just all sitting there again. I haven't bolted it in, but tomorrow will be the big day. Once I get all my ducting um, pieces, I'll be able to um, I'll be able to cut the slots in the uh, top of the dashboard. As I said, I'll get my vents um, be late next week, so I'll be able to cut the holes in the in the dash fascia but yeah all the components go in everything's really nice there i just took a little bit more off the um off the off the blower fan it's actually got it's got a flap there for um fresh air intake and recycle well unless i cut a hole in the top of the cowl and put a vent in there i'm not going to have fresh air coming in uh, naturally so it is all going to be recycled air so all I've done is the selector um, to change between the two I've cable tied that and that long cable that you can see hanging down there that would have went to that that flap for the um, recycled fresh air intake I don't actually need that now I can take that off so it, if, if worse comes to worse and my small cable on this side doesn't do what it's meant to do and it's still too tight. I've got this really long cable here now which I can cut down and make fit there. So that's a bonus. That's a bonus. So I'm um, really happy about it. And when the, the dash goes on, you don't see anything. It's great. Love it. <laughs> so, just bear with me. Just gonna turn this off for a second. Grab the dash panel. Put the dash panel in. Okay, I've moved the light down onto that chair there, just to give you a bit of a look at what I'll see from. Well, if you look through the back window when you're sitting in the seats, you don't see anything because it's above your eye line. But you know, that's not that's not too bad. That's pretty good. That fan mode is right up. Uh, underneath the dash, the uh, air conditioning box um, hangs probably just a, a, a I don't know, 50, maybe 10 mil, 15 mil lower, but um, still plenty of leg room there. And um, the heater box allows me heaps of room on that side uh, for my feet. So. Um, yeah, it, it's all gone in. So, mission accomplished. Very happy. And um, tomorrow I'll start putting all the components together. I'll, um, I'll put these bands on and I'll put those self-tappers in around each side as I said I would do and make, it, make those three pieces one solid unit, like it should be. <laughs> um, and I'll take that cable off as well, that long cable, because I don't I don't really need it now. And yeah, I'll glue up glue up everything that needs to be glued up. I am gonna take these off, I've decided I'm gonna take these off, but I'm gonna cut it up here and I'm gonna leave that back lip on there 
because that will give me um, a fixing point to hold that ducting in. I can go straight through here with a self tapper and straight into that that ducting. So that'll be good. As I said, that'll give me an extra 25 mil of clearance for the cowl vent. So um, yeah, that'll go. And all I'll do is I'll cut one one big piece. It's got to be a little bit longer than that than those two. But I'll cut another piece out and I'll. Um, Epoxy that over the top and shut that shut that vent off too. So all good. Um, I've done a quick measurement of the spacing or the spaces that I will need um, for all the bracketry here. Now this fan motor sitting back a little bit because I've had to balance it on this piece of tubing, but all the tabs, this black tab and the black tab under here and the black tab on the far side are all 25 millimeters out from the firewall so that's all good um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some 25 mil blue tubing over there and just make some little blocks, I've probably even got some little off cuts over there somewhere and I'll use them as my spaces and um, that won't look out of place because all the bracketry is square so yeah it's um, it's all coming together you might be able to see that cable tie up there just cable tied that um, fresh air recycle um, vent lever to the body so it can't ever sort of like flop down so that's all good um, not much else to tell really and I do apologise if it's a little bit dark I'm trying to film this um, at night <laughs> as you do um, the fan box, uh, that fan motor the little piece I took off the top of it was that I originally took just a, a little snippet out of the corner there just to try and clear the cowl here it was just brushing up against the cowl so what I decided to do was just take a bit more off it seeing I've closed that off now um, so that I don't get no vibration I made sure that um, when I cut it down I cut it down to the first um, clip that holds the body of the unit together I didn't go below that so it's still got the clip on it so that's all good a bit more, a bit more junk there so that's it guys um, I'll let you know how everything else goes as it happens. Cheers. Just having a little play with the um, with the uh, windscreen um, vents, and they fit in there beautifully, absolutely beautifully. It's like it was custom made for it. So all I'm going to do is I've got tabs on each one of them. I'm just going to weld a little tab off the back of the dash so that I can fasten them securely to the uh, to the dashboard so they don't get any movement and that plastic pipe that I've got in here will get drilled and they'll get inserted into there like that so that's going to work beautifully very happy very happy about that I, mean, I can't believe the fit the fit is incredible it's really really good I'll try and tip this over without the clamps coming off but as you can see that's really nice on both sides as you can see, I've got a little bit of little bit of space between the um, that outer lip and the vent. This one I can push back a little bit. I'm just trying to hold them hold them in place with the clamps at the moment. I'm not really getting too technical about it at the moment. So, um, but yeah, it's all good. That's going to work out nice. So I'll just cut some nice little slots in here. 
Um, and yeah, it, it should look it should look really good. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to keep going. I just never stop. Um, the cap that I was going to put on the, the the two individual caps that I had on here that weren't going to work when I chopped this out. I got rid of them, and I've cut I've cut out a full length one to um, epoxy on to this tomorrow. Once I've cut this off, so I've already got this prematurely cut. It's got a little bend on the end. Uh, I'm just going to get the heat gun and heat that up and flatten it out. So that'll be okay. Um, all good. So yeah, this um, this extra bit here has been really handy. I've been chopping bits and pieces out of it, and yeah, served a good purpose that one.